Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. And today I want to go over what I think might be my favorite Pokemon. Just because I think he looks really cool. And that is Vicavolt. If we look at Vicavolt, it is a bug electric type Pokemon. Which means it is covered by the effects of tropical energy, which is a nice thing. It has the special ability Spark Noise. When this Pokemon moves from the bench to the field, the Pokemon on the opponent's bench spin. Pokemon that spin a purple attack gain weight. And this purple heavy meta that we are in right now, that's actually pretty nice. It can really mess with your opponent's strategy early game by maybe not allowing them to create a matchup that they want if the Pokemon they want to bring out to match up against you rolls a purple. And then late game, if they have just had a Pokemon come out of the PC and you come out on the out onto the field, that that could make them have to alter the way that they play and create an advantage for you. If we look at his wheel, a 24, and this is at level one, a 24 slice of 70 attack and the opponent gains weight, a four dodge, a 32 slice zap cannon for a hundred, the battle opponent and the Pokemon in a straight line directly behind it become paralyzed and they gain weight. That's pretty crippling if you think about it. It, it's, it should make your opponent think twice about attacking you. Another four dodge, and then a 24 of Volt Switch. This Pokemon switches with a Pokemon on your bench. That's the same ability as um, Emolga. If you land on that, you can bring out another Pokemon. And then an eight miss. If I were going to invest in this, I'm definitely going for the 32 Zap Cannon to make that as large as possible. Remember, if you have Coco on the field, it is going to do plus 30 damage. So you're actually looking at a 130, 100 if you are the one attacking. If you're not the one attacking, if you're being attacked, 100 without chain levels is a little weak, quite honestly. But there are, there are ways around that. Just know that with, you would probably really, if you're in the higher levels, you'd want this one to be around a 103, to 105 and then from there moving up i think this could be a really nice sleeper pokemon down the line i don't know that it's getting a whole lot of love at the moment but the fact that it is covered by tropical i do feel like people have kind of moved away from tropical decks at the moment just to try out some more decks we've had the poison that just came out and now this electric banner that came out and that's kind of the norm when you have a new booster, a new banner come out, people like to try out the new Pokemon, and I kind of think that's what's happening. I'm just gonna run this thing into league play, and I have to tell you, like with stocks and, and anytime you're gambling, past uh, previous results don't necessarily mean fu equal future results, but I have had some really nice RNG lately. I think I messed up my deck because I did. <laughs> so this is one of those like next level strats where I took out my Mega Gengar <laughs> but forgot to change the plates. Um, so that is why you see that. But this isn't about Gengar, this is about Vicavolt. So I'm going to bring him out and it looks like Curlia is going to get, and I imagine they brought Psychic Fairy, which means that Vic... Uh, my Coco, go away. My Coco cannot pass through Curlia. Interesting little strat that they did there. I am going to bring out what I was saying about the, the gambling metaphor there is I've had really good RNG mostly the, the last couple days. Um, the Zapdos is actually landing on its gold and not everything but its gold. So it's always good. I did change Mew. I reallocated his wheel to 4050, and then I, de I I took back the blue and put it into the gold. Mostly because I 
in my normal league deck, which I'm not necessarily running right now. Um, let me check. I, I'm not running long through, I don't think. Okay, I'm not. In my normal league deck, I'm not running anything to counter. I'm not running anything to counter Deoxys at the moment. And so by changing Mew up to level 40, now he does have Mega Gengar, I'm sure of it. So that is going to... Actually, you know what? We're just going to attack again. That sucks. That really sucks. The only roll that I can't beat Mew is the 110, and I do that twice. What I was saying is Deoxys Speed does not attack Mew when he's 40-50. So I'm going to lose Raikou here. I already knew that, though. Um, when I made the, the decision. And Mega Gengar is going to try to take on the world. Didn't happen, though. What I'm going to do is take out Blastoise. <laughs> Having that, that Mega Gengar plate in there could come back to haunt me, but no, uh, I think I would either have, I'd probably have Max Revive in there. This is interesting. Okay. Guess he's going to go for Psycho Switch. He's going to confuse me, which normally would be pretty awful, but because I can do the evolution... I don't even I don't even have gold block, so I kind of have to be careful here. I really could lose at any moment without gold block if Mew got knocked out. Let's see what happens here. 150. I'm sorry, your 140 is not good here. <laughs> That's just crazy to me to think. That a Pokemon can do 140 damage and not be strong enough. On my next turn, I'm going to probably take a swell. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let's see what happens. Okay. I have double chance. I'm not going to use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure on my opponent's goal and force him to react to what I've just done. Now he has to go block his goal. If he takes Rayquaza, I'm going to slide up and then a double chance and attack um, the, the Toad there. Oh, and he took Gengar. Okay. I'm still, I'm still going to double chance this because I can take Gengar off of goal if I roll my blue. And I do roll my blue. That is a good, that's a winning roll. I'm happy with that. Nope. Let's try that again. Come on, Gengar, you have a ton of white on your wheel. That was less than ideal, for sure. Kind of a bummer. What's his wheel slice there? So that is 40. So at a 40% chance of him hitting that, and uh, he rolled the 32% chance twice. Now, he has only X attack left. I am going to double chance, because I, I, I definitely want to knock out this Mew. I don't want to land my 40 into his 50. And I have no losing rolls. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I, I'm in a pretty good position here. 
And I haven't even gotten Bickabolt into the game yet. <laughs> the Gengar. The Mega Gengar Plate. Let's see if I can't. Fold Surf. Nice. There we go. I think my best bet is just bring Mew up. And I apologize, I know this is a video to showcase Vicavolt, but also within the context of the game that I've played so far, um, I just, I haven't had the opportunity to, to play Vicavolt. It's not because I don't want to, but as you've watched this game unfold, there just hasn't been an opportunity where the best move for me to make would be to move Vickavolt forward. <laughs> and he he objects strenuously to the fact that he didn't get to come out and play in his highlight video. So he just said, I quit. I'm going to the PC. Peace out, homies. And uh, that's going to... That's going to do it for my opponent. <laughs> so Vickavolt said, you do a video on me, you don't let me play coach, I don't even want to be a part of this. And I quit. <laughs> but despite the video that I showed here, I really do think Vickavolt is viable. I think if I had some chain levels on there, I would try harder to fit it into a deck. I think it's a really nice piece. If you can, like if you're running Raikou, I think, I think Vickavolt would be better than Raikou if you're running a, a half electric or a mostly electric deck. I definitely think he can fit in. For just a normal league deck, I, I feel like he could probably replace maybe your Terrakian, uh, maybe your Verizian, and, and be serviceable. I, the, the problem is, is those have been out for a while and I feel like most people have some chain levels on them. And that's going to kind of hamper Vickavolt a little bit initially. But if you do have the, the Coco character, the, the Coco Pokemon, then I definitely think you can run him without chain levels. I don't know that they're super important just on the defensive side. But that is going to do it for today's installment. I am anticipating playing that my Japanese tournament match soon. Also, pardon me, I have to look on Discord real quick. There's a link down in the description below. But if we go, if we go tomorrow, XJet, who put on the Frontier Battle Tournament, it was kind of his creation is going to be live streaming the prize giveaways tomorrow at 2200. I don't know what CEST time is. I don't know what time CEST is. But if you look at the announcement board on my Discord channel, there is a link. If you look down in the description below, there's a link to his Twitch stream. And that is going to be uh, Jet Erickson X Jet on my Discord. Tune in. Look at the great prizes. I don't know what we have coming up next as far as tournaments go, but I want to make it. I want to make it good. And I want to make it big. So I'm going to get with my leadership team, my mods, and discuss what we have going on next. Also, one other quick bit of business. I want to say congratulations to Rico on surpassing 1,000 subscribers. Go check out, I will put a link to his uh, YouTube channel as well in the description. Go check him out. Good stuff. He has teamed up with Razor, Jake Razor, Razor Jake, I don't know. I don't know his name. I think it's Razor Jake, but I don't know him personally. So, but he's teamed up with Jake to come up with different deck builds that 
kind of incorporate a little bit of the meta and a little bit of the non-meta. And he's doing good work over there. Go check him out. He's give him a give him a subscribe. Let's see if we can't get him up to two thousand subscribers. And I think that's going to do it. Today's Saturday. I hope you guys are having a spectacular weekend. And until next time.